Hi, this is Anthony here, Manto of his Two Street Music, taking a moment to talk about trade. If you have gear you're not using, if you have a guitar you're not using, a saxophone you're not using, maybe some PA speakers, you should consider trading them into your local music store. Now, here at Mantovas, we have our own set of criteria that we're looking at as we're valuing what we're going to offer you for your instrument. Trade credit is great. You can use trade credit on new and used gear. You can use trade credit to start or to make a payment on a layaway. There's all kinds of things you can do with trade. Um, as, as we're looking at it, here's how we start. Let's say you want to trade in this BC Rich. Let's say you own it, it's used, you want to trade it in. Well, to start with, I'm going to take a look at what I thought it goes for new. Then I'm going to think about what I can sell it for used. And then obviously I'm going to give you a portion of that. That's where we start. Okay. Then the next question I ask myself as a music store owner is what is my history with flying V's? Okay. If I sell a lot of flying V's, I might give you a higher percentage. If I don't sell flying V's very often and I have a bunch in stock, then I'm probably not going to give you as much as I otherwise would. Every single music store is different, and every music store uh, should look at it that way. They have to think about not just the value of the gear, but how well it's going to sell for them, and we're no different. So we're thinking about the used value, we're thinking about what it was new, we're thinking about um, our history with that type of item that you're bringing in. And then only at that point, only at that point are we then looking at the quality of the uh, components, uh, how many scratches does it have, what's the overall condition. See, there's a misconception. A lot of people think it's just what I paid for it and its condition. And really the biggest factor isn't those two things. The biggest factor is what's the music store's history with what you're bringing in. So if you're bringing me uh, PA speakers from the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, I'm not going to give you anything because those things don't sell. If you're bringing me flying V's, which I do really well with, I'm going to give you a lot. So it just depends on the store. Ask. Instead of loading up your car and bringing it down and being disappointed, find out what the music store in your neighborhood wants. And then bring them that, and you'll do really well. And as for the stuff they're not going to pay you for, go to the pawn shop. Thanks so much for watching. This is Manto with Two Street Music here in Eureka, California.